Welcome back to the driveway. Today I'm making a little trap that goes in the water. And this is a variation on something a lot of people have done. You see it oftentimes people will take a drink bottle and they'll cut the top off, turn it around, stick it back in there like a funnel. Fish go in there, they can't keep get out. What I've got though today are these Brunswick stew containers. And if you work anywhere near a restaurant, sometimes you can go in and ask for these and, and they'll let you have them. So it's a great resource. And what I have done is I have cut the bottom out of one because then they can slip in together really well. But down here on the bottom of this and on both lids, I've cut a hole with an X-Acto knife. And I've cut the tops out of these Gatorade bottles. The Gatorade bottles have a little ridge in them. And if you cut below there, this axe is it's a self-anchoring. You can just push it right into the hole and it stays there. And of course, as we make our trap, we want to take the lid off. Stick it in like that. Then I've also cut one out of the bottom of this one. I didn't cut the bottom completely off this side. I wanted to make a little bait container. This is two of these Gatorade bottle tops cut off and again I've left that ridge in the middle and I can just slip one inside the other and they snap together and make a, a neat little container. Now what that allows me to do is put some bait in there and I've taken a hole puncher and punched some holes just so it can permeate into the water and, and uh, leave that trail so that the crawdads or fish can come up and find it. Now this would work in a, in a bigger creek but I'm going to put it in a little branch and we're going to see what we can catch. I'm probably going to use little pieces of dog. Like I said, just stick them in there, close that up, pop that right back in where I had had that hole there. See it just sits there. Then I'm going to cap off this one. It doesn't work if the fish can't get in there. And I'm going to slide these two. As you can see the funnels are open. Fish can go in there. This is the bait, the bait container. I'm going to slide these two in right together like that. Then I'm going to take a little tape. And if anybody has ever used put up siding on their house and uh, or built an addition. This is this tape is it's a construction grade tape is fantastic. I've got a friend that turned me on to this. You can even patch jeans, holes in jeans with this and wash them. And it lasts and lasts and lasts. It's just I've got uh, a broken window on my pickup truck patched with this. It's been that way for about a year because I'm too cheap to get new glass. And it don't hurt me to drive around like that. Nobody makes fun of me that I know of. I can't hear them. I'm driving. So that's what we're using to tape these things together. Other containers, like this one, this is another trap I made, because they have these ribs in them, when you cut, you can cut both bottoms out of these and they'll just pop right together. And it's almost impossible to get them back apart. So here we have the same setup. But this is a uh, banana ring container. But you, as you can see, you've got the Gatorade top shoved in there in a hole in the lid. You can access your trapped animals or throw bait in there. Close it back up. We're going to lay this bottom of a branch, make sure it's at least halfway submerged so that the water's flowing into the funnel above it preferably. Then we're going to pile some rocks over it. Now we've got our trap set in the water. We've got a couple of big flat rocks on it. The entrances are both submerged so that the fish can get in there, the crawfish can get in there, and they fall down in and they just aren't clever enough to climb back out. Welcome to the driveway. This is part two of my crawfish trap I made out of these Brunswick stew containers. Just pulled it out of the creek and I think we did okay. Sometimes there's a snake though, so just be careful. 
one time I opened one up and there was a snake. So I say sometimes, I mean one time, but it scared me good enough. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Remember we just put a Gatorade top and pushed it inside the, the lid of this. See how it just pops in? And that creates the funnel on both sides. So we gotta check both sides of this trap. Let's see what we got though. There's one, two, three. Oh my goodness, four, five. Let's see. I'm gonna eat these later, so I don't want them to get away. <laughs> we did good today, y'all. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, mud bugs. Make sure there's no more on this side. Okay, and snap that back in. Now remember, this is a two-chamber trap, so let's see what we got over here. Oh, maybe nothing on that side. Oh, well, we got a few. That's all right. I'm pleased with that. Now, if we were camping, what I would do, and it works really well. Let go, let go, let go is I'll sharpen a tiny little stick about that long and I'll shove it into the mouth in through the carapace and then I will stick this over the fire kind of up on the rocks and this this shell will turn a bright red it'll turn a bright red like a lobster and, and red lobster and you know it's ready so that's what you got to do five of those make a decent little breakfast if you're camping, you can't be choosy, but I'm pleased with that. Again, this is a trap that I made to catch small fish and crawfish, and we've done pretty good today. Thank you very much. Left it overnight. And there they are, the little critters.